Hey, welcome back. Crazy Hair Darren here uh, to proudly do a wrap up video of the final assemblies. This is final assembly part nine. The wrap up, the final assembly, the final assembly. Okay, so uh, today we'll show you real, real quick the overview. Uh, everything is basically done on this engine. The engine itself, I say, um, is probably basically ready to start. The other side of it is I'm doing some little tweaks here with the fuel gauge, the fuel level indicator in that system. I'm experimenting with some uh, changes to the way I'm doing, the way I did that. So, um, I, and it's the weather's still a little inclement off and on here in Indiana. Um, we're getting snow today. Um, you know, spring is just in a couple of days. So, uh, regardless of what the calendar says, uh, the weather does what it wants, and it can be tornadoes, it can be 80, or it can be snow this time of year it's very very unpredictable uh, but however uh, weather permitting and get some friends help we'll go <clears throat> we're probably about ready to get her out and test fire it see if it runs if it prays that it runs then we'll um, maybe you know do more extensive testing okay we're going to take a look now at the installation of the air ejector um, I installed the jet pipe or uh, uh, technically known the exhaust nozzle extension assembly. I uh, didn't video that because it's all of six uh, bolts and nuts, but uh, I did video installing the this, the air ejector assembly. And um, we come, we'll come back and do a walk around of the engine overall and let you see the final product. Okay, stand by for the air ejector installation. All right, there we have our exhaust nozzle extension installed. As you can see, this is the also known as the jet pipe. It is a continuation of this decreasing diameter. Starting from here back, we have a decreasing diameter, which is forms a jet. And that accelerates the hot gases out through, and that causes your forward thrust. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, it attaches simply uh, with uh, a screw and a self-locking nut at six points all the way around all right there we go exhaust nozzle extension installed there's one more major component one more so what we have left to do the major component that's left is this that's called the air ejector i know that sounds like a made-up term but this the purpose of this housing or nozzle i guess you could call it which it goes over the outside here and attaches to this flange. Okay, the action of hot gases leaving here creates a vacuum here at the very, very back. And that will cause airflow due to the fact that we have a vacuum created here, a low pressure, a low pressure at this end, and that creates a flow of air for cooling purposes. And we'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, are you ready to hold that? Now this has a a tilt to it, if you'll notice. I see. All right, it points down there, see? Yeah. Well, we gotta line this up. Do We're, this go on here first? Yes. Because you can hang it up here if it'll stay. If it won't, it should be all right. For just a minute. I think here's the top. See the, see my rep and arrows? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Watch your fingers there, pincher. Let's check again. There's the marks right here. I'm going to call that, well, so you like put this, if these holes got lined up here. So I'm going to do that. Go your way a little bit, maybe. See, let the let slide. See? There you go. Watch fingers. Now, pinchy. Okay, so now we got a pinchy. Let's just throw a screw through here if I can. I don't know. It may not be possible. Okay. Can get one started. That'll be a good start. Got to start it. Damn. I don't know. Well, it's backwards. Now I'm backwards. There we go. Let's keep it from falling. See, it'll keep it from slipping. There. Now I need to come over there. Now how are you going to line those holes up? 
for me on this gasket. Oh, I can sort of see a window here. Yeah. Maybe he needs to come on up though. You know what? You need a little pointy thing. Well, and some you can see through. And some you can't. Right? So hang on. It's like a dental to a look. Well, I see how the holes are. Right. Well, I want one up here, so I'm guess I'm being picky. There it goes. Uh, you making the hole bigger? No, I'm just pulling it more aligned because it isn't quite lined up. It looks like it's... There it goes. And now it becomes the boring part of trying to get all the rest of these things in here. So those are two temporary screws, right? So it won't fall. All right. It's not going anywhere now. Now the rest will just be the patience of Job. Now you want, I guess, the washers. You want one of these on each side. Oh, back in front. Yep. Yeah. Yes, please. I mean. Okay. Then here goes a whole box of screws. And look, but you've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. There's a hundred of them. Wow. How many you want? Right yeah. Oh, you know what? How about we were put some, do we not want to put some anti-seize on it? So you want me to poke this through over there somewhere and then you can put the nut on it. And then I'll take the one you got in your hand and drop a washer over. And then we can poke him through somewhere in here. That one lined up, man. Yeah, push it on. Okay, now you put a washer in there. This one's gonna be fun. I know. The lines are in the way, aren't they? Yeah. Have you got needle nose or you got slender fingers? <laughs> you may have to cut two of your fingers' fingernails clear off. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Shouldn't have to. I don't think so. We got uh, special tools. You got it? I hear tink clank, tink clank, <laughs> before you get it. That's okay, we got plenty of washers and nuts. Oh, I'll say plenty to a degree. And then we'll have to start picking them up off the floor. ejector is now installed uh, we have it attached torqued ready to roll so that is the final major piece to install on the whole overall engine so there she is j44 as I was trying to explain before you see that the air ejector nozzle is a bit longer and extends somewhat past the uh, jet pipe or nozzle extension so uh, this this annulus here create with this air hot gases moving creates a low pressure area which draws air in here and to create an airflow a cooling airflow all around the outside of the jet pipe but just as or maybe more important it draws air through our uh, turbine bearing housing and here is the intake there's one on each side it's this little port here and there's one on the other side here this allows air to enter through the strut, the horizontal struts across the way they enter into that chamber. 
circulate around and then are drawn up through the vertical struts and then exhausted and pulled out. So this is a very important item. Although it looks like it's a, a, a cover, it, it actually serves a cooling air purpose. It's very important, uh, especially on this engine, which does not use bleed air from the compressor for any cooling back here at the back. This is all self-induced. All right, air ejector is installed. As you saw, uh, we got it all snug down, torqued the screws. Um, and thanks to Fran for her help. She was, uh, she's a good sport. She humors me. Um, at times to come out and help. Uh, she truly is interested in the project that it's going to work for me but obviously it's not her bag so um, that shows her side. She's a little open-minded about stuff like that. That's a positive thing. We need more of that in this world. It's a little more open-minded. Just a little. Okay well anyway besides all that in my opinion um, let's go ahead and uh, do the walk around show you the final product. It's assembled and we're going to call this done as far as assembly goes and now we're uh, in the working out a few bugs and some minor changes some last minute checks uh, before we proceed to the testing and that will be the part everybody's been waiting for including me all right so here uh, let's take a look at this thing all right here we go and there we go well she looked nice so there she is all connected up and ready to roll we just need to do some uh few little bugs to work out here and there, uh, double checks and triple checks, and we'll be ready to roll. But I also want to point out another phenomenon. Um, as you can see, this is canted or vectored. Uh, this is basically vertical, this flange, and so is this piece. And this also applies to the jet pipe. I'm sure you noticed they both have a slight few degree change in angle. They're not straight in axial line with the center of the engine. Um, and in fact, I think on some applications this was turned pointing upward. So the angle was this was upward. Now that would give you a you know a thrust angle vector like that if you know this is the back of the engine. Uh, I, I would prefer to have one that just went straight. But again, you know, you can't just find parts like that laying around. I don't even know if they were made straight, if they're all this way. I believe that would the angle of this would be dependent upon its, in, its application. All right, there's the video proof. It's back together. Now will she run? We will find out. Uh, I'll keep you updated. Get some uh, little loose ends tied up here. Okay, well, I appreciate everybody's interest, support for all this time. It's been going on three, it has been, th has been going on three years since I disassembled this engine or started the rebuilding and restoration. Well, uh, like I said, that's a long time drawn out. Uh, however, it is a hobby, not a, it's not a job, so uh, it's uh, been enjoyable. But I am ready to get her back uh, out and running. So, any comments, questions, uh, feel free. Okay, hope everybody has a great day, a great week, and next few weeks, um, hopefully uh, until I can see you again here on YouTube, and we'll see, we hopefully got a running engine or some sort of uh, something exciting to show you, hopefully not cat catastrophic. Thanks again for watching, and cheers.